Hello, my name is Rian Blom with Avaya Global Support Services. This video is about Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services Bash Shell Shock Remediation. You can find up to date information on all affected Avaya products from the Avaya support site support.avaya.com. You should find a link to the Shellshock Bash Impact Update for Avaya products either on the right or to the bottom of the Avaya support homepage. Follow the link to see the latest Avaya security advisory information. On the next page you can review the information provided by the Avaya security team. To see a listing per product, follow the product batch status link. Once the table is provided you should find AE services on the second page. Follow the link on the far right of the table to open the product support notice 4303U which applies to AE services. From the product support notice you will see that all 5.x and 6.x AE services systems are affected by the Bash shell shock vulnerability. As you may know already, the Red Hat Bash package has a flaw in the way that Bash evaluated certain specifically crafted environmental variables. An attacker could use this flaw to override or bypass environment restrictions to execute shell commands. Certain services and applications allow remote, unauthenticated attackers to provide environment variables allowing them to exploit this issue. Below the PSN summary you can find the resolution section. Please note that on 5.2.4 and 6.x systems you need to install the self-executable security patch AESVCS bash patch dot bin. Please note that this patch is customer installable. It is highly recommended to upgrade any earlier AE services releases older than AE services 5.2.4 to a newer release. The next important item to note in this PSN is that applying this patch is service affecting. The AE services server will be rebooted once the installation completes. Under the patch notes section you will find instructions where to download the patch from. This can be done either by going through the Avaya support site or directly to the Avaya PLDS site. Below that you will see details on confirming the MD5 sum of the patch. This confirms the downloaded patch 100% matches the patch provided by Avaya. Under the patch install instructions notice there is another warning provided that this patch is service interrupting. The basic instructions to installing the patch are log into the AE services server using the Linux console, the services port or SSH, secure copy the patch file to the temp folder on AES, then as root execute the three commands provided and follow the on-screen instructions. The next section in the PSN provides instructions on verification that the patch addressed this bash shellshock vulnerability. I will be executing some of these commands shortly to show you what this would look like on your system. The last item to note on this PSN document is that per Avaya development this patch should not be removed. Let's take a look at steps involved in downloading the AE Services Bash Shellshock patch from the Avaya support site. From a browser window, go to support.avaya.com and log in with your SSO credentials. Click on Downloads and then enter the product name Application Enablement Services. Choose the release and a list of downloads will be provided. When you scroll down the list, look for the Avaya Aura AE Services 5.2.4 and 6.x Bash Shellshock Remediation link. Follow that link. On the next page you will see a link to the patch which will redirect you to Avaya PLDS. You will also see a link to PSN 4303U in the top right of the page. Follow the link to the patch. This should take you straight to the correct file in Avaya PLDS. 
click on download and save the file to your local PC. The next step is not documented in the product support notice, but I am including it since it is always advisable to take a backup of the AE Services database prior to making any changes. In a browser window, enter HTTPS and the IP address of your AE Services server. Log in with the CUST or CRAFT credentials. Once logged in, follow the maintenance link, then the server data link. Click on Backup and follow the links to backup the AES server. The file is typically less than 200 kilobytes and can be stored on your local computer. Next we will look at how to secure copy the patch to the AES. To do this I am using WinSCP. Populate the AES IP address or hostname, then populate the username and password for the CUST or CRAFT account. Then click on Login. Once the connection is established, on the left browse to where you saved the file that was downloaded from a via PLDS and also browse to the temp folder on the AES on the right. Drag the patch file to the remote server side and start the copy. Now that the patch has been downloaded and moved to the AES server, we will access the AES server through the secure shell and verify the software version of AES. Additionally, we will verify the MD5 sum of the patch file. I use the PuTTY application to SSH to the AES, then log in as CUST or CRAFT user. Once logged on, type SW version and you should see the AES version as well as which patches, if any, have been installed. Next, SU to the root user and change to the temp folder. From the temp folder, we can check the MD5 sum of the patch file as shown. The string returned by MD5 sum should match the value provided in the PSN or on the Avaya PLDS site. If this value does not match, re-download the patch and check the MD5 sum again. Do not install the patch if the MD5 sum does not match. As part of verification, you can check what version of the bash RPM is currently installed. Notice in this case our server has 9.1 and the RPM containing the fix is 11.4. You can also use the other commands provided in the PSN to verify whether your system is vulnerable to the bash shellshock vulnerability. If you have confirmed that your system requires this patch, you can move ahead with installing the bash security patch on the AE Services server. From the PuTTY window you opened earlier, type PWD and ensure that you are in the temp folder. As the root user, use the chmod command as provided in the PSN to assign executable permissions to the patch. You can again use the ls command to verify the patch now has the required permissions to execute. Please note that following the next step, AE services will reboot automatically as part of the patch installation. Use the command provided in the PSN to execute the patch. Take note of the warning advising that this Linux security update will require a server reboot at the end of installation. If you are ready to continue, press yes at the prompt and enter. 
The patch installation takes only a few seconds to complete, after which you should see the message that the system is going down for a reboot. I'm running a stopwatch to provide an indication of how long AE services will take to reboot. I also opened a command window in Windows and ran a ping against my server. Notice that the server started responding to a ping after about 90 to 120 seconds. After receiving the ping, you can restart the PuTTY session and log back into the AES as the CUST or CRAFT user. Once logged into the AES, you can use the three commands provided on the screen to verify from the command line whether AES is running. These are the three core services of AES and they all have to show a running state. Next you can log into the AE Services Management Console to verify all required AE services are online and in a running state. Note that services that are not licensed will show an offline status. The last item we will look at is how to verify the Bash RPM version was updated and the Bash issue has been resolved. From the PuTTY window you opened earlier, use the SW version command and confirm that you now see the LSU bash shellshock patch listed in the patch section. Next, check the version of the bash RPM and ensure that it is listing the version contained in the bash fix. You can also run the remaining commands and verify that the output matches the output provided in PSN 4303U for a patched or remediated system. That concludes this video on how to implement the Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services Bash Shellshock Remediation. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing a via.